Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Trends and in today's video we'll be listing the 10 ways people can actually get their bars featured on Bar Rescue. Also don't forget that we will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card so please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into it. The first method is to come into contact with the producers of the show. This is probably the simplest and easiest method on this list because producers are not that hard to contact. The best way to do this is by emailing the show and you could actually find their contract information on their website. Now loads of bars do this because it's the fastest and most efficient way, however there are hundreds of entries so people's chances of getting chosen are quite slim. And that's why the next methods will actually be really more effective. Method number two is to sign an application. Some reality TV shows in this vein seek out failing establishments. Others require the establishments to come to them. Bar Rescue is of the latter. In order to be considered for the show, bar owners must sign an application form and submit it to the Paramount Network for consideration. Should they be deemed acceptable for TV, Paramount puts them on the list. Following that, Tapper visits them with his team of experts, and an episode of Bar Rescue is thus created. The third way is to make a short video. Some bars that go on Bar Rescue actually make an application video in order to get in the show. They normally describe the things that they are struggling with in their bar and talk about some interesting things that happen in it. The bars that make these videos either post it online or they would email it to the producers of the Bar Rescue show the same way the applications are emailed in. The fourth method is to make a blog that will gain attention. Speaking about websites, bars that are trying to get into the show could also make blogs. Bar owners normally do this because they are trying to make their bar have more publicity so the show would pay more attention towards it. Method number five is to comply with the producers. In the Bar Rescue show, producers will often tell owners of the bar to make up a story or read a fake sad script. Situations like these rarely happen, but if it does, people have to comply with these terms in order to make it onto the show, because if you have trouble following instructions from the producers, you will not be accepted, and if they are there, they'll probably pack up and leave. The sixth way is to try and contact Taffer himself via social media. This method has proven not to be that effective, but who knows, it just might work. If owners are able to contact John Taffer, then they are quite lucky because that increases their chances of getting into the show. Then again, Taffer hosts the show, which means that if a bar owner comes into contact with him, they would have a very high chance of being accepted. At number 7, we actually recommend combining the video and the email application. If you combine both of these, you are more than likely going to get on the show. At number 8, people try to find connections to get into Bar Rescue. If bar owners are able to find someone who either works for the show or is a producer, they would just have a huge advantage on being on the next spotlight. This whole thing really just depends on luck because it would be quite difficult to find someone who works for the show and get them to help the bar become the next thing that they feature in the show. Method number 9 is to make the bar sound very interesting to the public. Reality shows nowadays are looking for topics that are very interesting and very wild. They do this so they would gain many, many more viewers on TV. Bar Rescue is one of those shows where they would choose bars that are suffering and just insane. If a bar owner makes the bar look interesting, the show will definitely contact them and make a new episode of All About That Bar. The final thing people do is they would over-exaggerate their losses. This one is related to the last method because a lot of people exaggerate the money that they are losing every single month. For example, there was an episode that was entirely faked where the owner was forced to say that he was losing about $50,000 a month by the producers. However, a lot of people could potentially take this as an advantage so their bar would look and sound much more intense and the show would be interested in helping them out. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, we really do appreciate your viewership and please don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic and great day.